so in this video we are going to discuss with the embedded firmware development languages okay so which and all are the firmware development languages which are used in the embedded systems those things we are going to discuss in this video and the conversion of uh, languages based on the requirement that also we are going to discuss with one block diagram okay so let us see that now for embedded firmware development we can use either a target processor controller specific language generally known as assembly language or low language or a target processor or controller independent language like c c++ java etc which is commonly called as high level language okay so these are some of the high level languages which the target processor or controller uses that is the c c++ java which is commonly used and those languages are called as high level language a combination of assembly and high level language would be very very essential for the embedded firmware development languages okay so now let us discuss with the assembly level language based development okay how the conversion taking place so the assembly language is the human readable notation of the machine language so the machine language is a processor understandable language okay that is the uh, assembly language is simply the human readable if you want to convert that human readable so that the system would be understanding it we should be converting it to the machine language okay so that machine language is a processor understandable language machine language is a binary representation and it consists of ones and zeros okay machine language is made readable by using specific symbols and these symbols are called as mnemonics hence the machine language can be considered as an interface between processor and programmer and assembly language and machine languages are processor controller dependent and and assembly program written for one processor controller family will not work with others okay so this sentence means that one assembly language and machine languages used by any microprocessor or any microcontroller they are only dependent on the specific task related programs okay so that the embedded system would be performing well that conversion between assembly and machine level language should not be splitted with any other embedded devices okay it should be specific it should be domain specific it should be domain oriented and it should not have any other characteristics based on the different parts of the devices okay M assembly language programming is the task of writing processor specific machine code in mnemonic form converting the mnemonics into actual processor instruction okay so and it is associated by the data using an assembler assembly language program was the most common type of programming adapted in the beginning of the software revolution okay so this program is the was the in a, in a earlier days it was the most common used program okay which was uh, very very essential for the revolution of the software in the modern day okay even today also almost the low level system related programming is carried out using the assembly language in particular assembly language is often used in writing the low level interaction between the operating system and the hardware for instance in the device drivers okay the general format of an assembly language instruction is an opcode followed by the operands the opcode tells the processor or the controller what to do and the operands provide the data and information required to perform the action specified by the opcode so these things opcodes operands and all you have discussed in the fourth sem microcontrollers right also the arm processor that is in the fourth module we are going to come in this uh, embedded system only and that also we are going to discuss with the opcodes and operands okay so this was about the complete assembly language based development okay so these are the some uh, instruction sets they have used okay so these things are you have already done in the microcontroller the assembly language program written in assembly code is saved as dot asm that is the assembly file or dot src that is the source file okay also dot s file and any text editor like notepad or wordpad from microsoft or the text editor provided by the integrated development ide tool can be used for writing the assembly instructions similar to c and other high level language programming we can have multiple source files called modules in assembly language program okay each module is re represented by the dot asm or the dot source file that is the assembly file or source file this approach is called as modular programming the modular programming is employed when the program is too complex or too big okay so this modular programming approach is for the programs which are complex okay in modular programming the entire code is divided into sub modules and each module is made by reusable things okay the modular programs are usually easy to code 
and easy to debug and alter as well okay so this you see here one block diagram which is very essential this is the source to file source file to object file translation okay so this is very important guys the translation of assembly code to machine code is performed by assembler the assemblers for different target processors are different a51 is used for macro assembler for from keel software which is popular assembler from the 8051 family microcontroller okay so this a51 the various steps involved in the conversion of a program written in assembly language to the corresponding binary file or machine language is uh, illustrated here the conversion of assembly level language to machine language that is we are we have library files then we have object file different object files for different object files we have different module assemblers okay source files is given to the object files and it, they are given directly to the library files okay so this is the object to hex file converter which converts the uh, binary code to the hexadecimal code which is required in the arm processor or the microcontroller okay so this block diagram you noted down very important one okay so yeah that's all guys so this was all about the conversion of assembly language to machine language in detail we have discussed with the assembly language based development also